is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Garrison was sentenced to six months in prison. However, after seven weeks, abolitionist philanthropist Arthur Tappan bailed him out. You got the money? Yeah, you got the stuff? Yep. Thanks, man. Why are you getting out of here? <laughs> Got something to say to me, boy? Yeah. Thanks for uh, getting me wet. Oh, and releasing me from prison, but uh, thanks for getting hey, me wet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's in handcuffs. On January 1st, 1831, Garrison started his own anti-slavery newspaper entitled The Liberator. The paper expressed his ideas on immediate emancipation and other views on abolition. The first issue went like this. I am aware that many object to the severity of my language, but is there not cause for severity? I will be as harsh as truth and as uncompromising as justice on this subject. I do not wish to think or to speak or write with moderation. No, no. Tell a man whose house is on fire to give a moderate alarm. Tell him to moderately rescue his wife from the hands of the ravisher. Tell the mother to gradually extricate her babe from the fire into which it has fallen. But urge me not to use moderation in a cause like the present. I am in earnest. I will not equivocate. I will not excuse, I will not retreat a single inch, and I will be heard. The apathy of the people is enough to make every statue leap from its pedestal and to hasten the resurrection of the dead. After the second year, the newspaper had less than 400 subscribers. The final issue was circulated in 1865 after the 13th Amendment. It celebrated the success of abolition and was entitled valedictory. Garrison was a very controversial figure because of his radical actions. The state of Georgia offered $5,000 for his arrest. In one particularly violent occasion, Garrison was chased around by an angry mob when he was to fill in for anti-slavery speaker George Thompson. Another occasion, he burnt a copy of the Constitution on July 4th, once again landing him in prison. Are you smoking in the public? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? When you Washington Good was a black sailor who was accused of murdering another black mariner, Thomas Harding. Garrison became involved in the widely talked about case and tried to save Good from execution. Ladies and gentlemen, I have Washington Good here, and he is not getting a fair trial, and he is not guilty, but he's being judged by the color of his skin, so you have to look past that and judge him fairly. The chicken mob. <laughs> Did you get that? He called chickens reptiles. One. In terms of his personal life, Garrison married Helen Benzon, the daughter of an abolitionist merchant. They had five sons and two daughters. Two of these children died. Garrison's wife died in 1876. Garrison was suffering from pneumonia at the time and was unable to attend the funeral. Sir, you do know your wife's funeral is being held downstairs. What? <sighs> Tom, I'm sick. As you wish, sir.
And now here's Ollie Williams with the Blackie weather forecast. Ollie? It's gonna rain! Thanks, Ollie. 